In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a swipeable TikTok slider like this on your WordPress website. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon TikTok Feed Pro plugin. It allows us to create fast and responsive TikTok feeds with no coding needed. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download TikTok Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard, on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click add new plugin. Then click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file for TikTok Feed Pro, just like this, and click install now. Once installed, click activate plugin. And there we go, the TikTok Feeds Pro plugin has now been installed and activated. To begin creating your TikTok feed, on the left hand side you'll now notice TikTok Feeds. Go ahead and click on that. And before creating our first TikTok feed, we'll have to activate the license key for the plugin. Go ahead and paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account here and click activate. Now our license key has been activated, so we can click add new to start creating our first TikTok feed. And for the first step of creating our TikTok feed, we'll have to connect our TikTok account with the plugin. Click on add source and then click on connect with TikTok. This will take you into TikTok and it will show you the account that you currently logged into. If this is the account you want to display inside your feed, click on authorize. Otherwise, if you want to log into a different account, click switch account. I'm going to click authorize. Next, you'll get this prompt here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Click yes, it's my domain. And you should now see your TikTok account as an option here as a source. You can then select it and click next. And for our final step of creating our TikTok feed, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. These templates allow us to create beautiful TikTok feeds with no design skills needed. We have options like the default, cards, list, latest video, carousel, and showcase carousel. Since we want to create a TikTok slider, we're going to go with the carousel template and click next down below. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview for our new TikTok slider. All the latest videos from your TikTok account are displayed inside this feed, and site visitors can swipe through the videos on your feed by clicking on the buttons below. But before I show you how to embed this onto your WordPress webpage, let me quickly show you how we can customize this feed. On the left hand side, under the customize tab, go and click on layout. At the top, you'll find different layout options you can use for your feed. Currently, we have the carousel layout selected, which allows site visitors to swipe through your videos like this. At the top, we have the grid layout, which displays your videos in rows and columns. Underneath that, we have the list layout, which displays your videos in a single column list. And lastly, we have the masonry layout, which displays your videos and captions in the original sizes. I'm going to change back to the carousel layout, and if you look below, you'll find additional options to customize your feed. Over here, you can specify how many posts you want to display inside your feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, it's displaying 10 posts inside our feed, but if you wanted to change that, simply type in the number of posts you want to display, just like this, and you can see instantly that it's only showing us 3 posts now. The other pages on the slider have now disappeared. I'm going to change that back to 10. Below that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display inside your feed in desktop, tablet, and mobile. To modify this, you can simply enter the number of columns you want to display. For example, if I wanted to display 4 columns, you can change it to that, and it will instantly display 4 columns inside the live preview. I'll change that back to 3, and down at the bottom, you can also choose to add navigation arrows to your feed, like this, which site visitors can click on to swipe through your feed. Next, we can also choose to show the pagination dots down at the bottom. If you wanted to disable that, you can simply uncheck it like this. And lastly, you can also enable autoplay, which will cause the feed to automatically swipe through the videos on your feed, like this. I'm going to disable that, and if you're happy with the layout of your TikTok feed, go click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header at the top of your feed, under the customize tab, go click on header. You might notice that inside the header we have several different elements. These include the profile picture, name, username, description, stats, and the button on the top right corner. All of these elements are fully customizable and you can choose to enable or disable whichever one you want. For example, if you wanted to disable the profile picture, you can simply uncheck it like this and it will disappear from the header inside your feed. You can do the same with any of the elements inside the header like this. I'm going to bring those back, but with these options you have complete control to customize the header to suit your exact needs. If you make any changes, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify how the TikToks are displayed inside your feed, under the Customize tab, click on TikToks. Next, click on Edit Individual Elements. This will show you all the different elements that accompany each video inside your feed. We have the author info, video thumbnail, play icon, views, likes, and caption. And just like with the header, we can choose which elements we want to keep inside the feed. For example, if you wanted to hide the video thumbnail, you can simply deselect it like this, and that will hide all video thumbnails inside your feed. You can do the same with the play icon, views, and all the different elements. And if you make any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. And if you wanted control to moderate the content displayed inside your TikTok feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Inside this menu, you can add words to hide or show posts containing those words. This way, if there are any videos you want to hide from your feed, you can add words containing those video captions to hide the videos from your feed. And if we go back into settings and click on sort, you have options to sort the videos displayed in your feed based on recent first, oldest first, most views, and most likes. And underneath that, you can also choose to randomize the videos shown inside your feed. If we enable it, 
it will show a random assortment of videos inside your feed rather than from latest to oldest. I'm going to disable that. And if you made any changes, go click on save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your TikTok feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do that, go click on embed on the top right corner, copy a dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now on your WordPress webpage to embed your feed, go ahead and add a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that you just copied earlier like this. Once that's done, let's click on update and check out what it looks like on the live webpage. And here we are on our live WordPress webpage and right in the middle, we have our brand new TikTok slider. All the latest TikTok videos from the account we connected are displayed inside this feed and site visitors can swipe through the videos by clicking on these buttons like this. And if someone wanted to watch these videos, they could click on it like this and watch that TikTok directly from your WordPress website. And at the top of your feed, you have the header featuring your profile picture, account name, handle, bio, the number of accounts you're following, the number of followers you have, and the number of likes you have as well. And on the top right corner, we have the follow on TikTok button. If you click on that, that will take you directly to that TikTok profile. And that's how we create an embedded TikTok slider on our WordPress webpage. But if you're wondering if you can embed one into the sidebar or foot of our website, but if you're wondering if you can embed one into the sidebar or foot of our WordPress website, we definitely can't. Let me show you how. Here we are back inside the plugin and I've just created a second TikTok feed for the footer of our website. To embed our TikTok feed inside the footer, just click on embed once again, copy your shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click add to a widget. This will take you to your WordPress widgets menu. And to embed our TikTok feed inside the footer, open up the footer widget, add a shortcode block, and paste the shortcode that you just copied, just like this. And now if we click on update and check out our live web page, if you scroll down to the footer of your page, we have a second TikTok slider on our WordPress footer. This one is just as fast and responsive as the first one. Site visitors can swipe through the videos like this and watch them directly from the footer of your website. So you now know how to create an embedded TikTok slider on your WordPress footer and on your WordPress web page as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.